Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Crypto.com, Crowcoin, take a look at Bitcoin and the overall market, and give you guys my opinion on where I think we're headed. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. So guys, first off, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Almost at 20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. So Bitcoin. Bitcoin is trading at $65,101, down about 0.67% on the day. It's basically been a very, very sideways day. The altcoins have been kind of in this channel, but to be honest, more mo movement to the downside. Bitcoin down is trading at 54.17%. We exclude stable coins, 56.17%. Down ever so slightly. Some of these altcoins are getting a little bit of recovery. We saw Pepe make a nice bounce. We saw Crowcoin try a little bit. I saw Uniswap make a nice bounce. But all in all here, guys... We're chopping around. We're, we're trading sideways. And I do want to tell you guys about a very key level I am looking at for Crowcoin very shortly. But first, I want to say, please go follow me on Instagram at 333 Black If I can reach 500 followers by the end of this week, I will give away $1,000. I did give away $1,000 when I reached 300 followers. And, um, you know, I said I was going to give 300 away, but I decided to give 1000 And if you can show me proof that you have also signed up to Blowfin and you have deposited a little bit and you also do get some free money with that and that you have also followed me. If we can reach that 500 followers, there will be a bonus on top of that $1,000 giveaway. So please check that out. Now let's take a look at this key level that I'm looking at for Kronos. So Crowcoin right now, man, guys, I said that if we break below this 10 cent price level, we probably were going to start coming down to the 0.08. 830 cent level this yellow line right here and in my opinion we are kind of seeing a little bit of a bottoming formation playing out and in my opinion i did think that we were going to come down i still think that's on the table as long but but i will say as long as bitcoin decides to play nice maybe we don't hit that eight cent that point zero eight three zero cent level and maybe we start to bottom out here it is starting to look like that that you know a lot of people probably have their buy order set at that level. It is a very key level. So maybe it doesn't quite meet that point. Maybe it doesn't quite reach that level. And we come short. We come up to that, let's say, $0.09 cents, or maybe just barely below $0.09. Cents. I think that that's an appropriate level to be looking at as well. But that all depends on what Bitcoin decides to do, guys. Bitcoin is testing a very important level as well. The bull market trend line right here, this orange line I have drawn out, it is flirting with it on the weekly. We're seeing a red dot on market cipher on the momentum wave starting to curl over. However, money flow looks pretty nice. That being said, we do need to look at some higher term time frames because we need to keep checking up on the monthly time frame for Bitcoin because, guys, yes, I've been talking about it. The red dot on the monthly has found itself once again forming here. We don't really want to see that, guys. As a sell signal on the monthly, maybe we decide to come below the 60 level. And in my opinion, if we do start to come below that 60 level, then we're probably going to be trading sideways and making more moves to the downside for a significant amount of time. And that will be, let's say, local top territory in my mind and i know a lot of people are calling tops and the more people that do call the top the less likely the top is in in my opinion but if we do see this spill over on the monthly come below this white line on market cipher the 60 level line we probably trade to the downside and make new lows on the monthly term time frame probably start to make our way to Maybe that $49,000 price level. I think that's on the table. I'm not trying to be a bearer of bad news, but I want to keep that price level out there because that's what I'm seeing on the monthly. I'm, I don't want to be one-sided. I, I want to tell you guys what I'm seeing. I want to be transparent. And what does that mean for Crowcoin? Well, guys, unfortunately, <laughs> that means Crowcoin will probably make its way down below the $0.08 cent price level if we see that severe continuation of the downside. But let's not get caught up and carried away with these bearish sentiments because, you know, guys, we zoom out here. Zoom out here. Bitcoin is in a consolidation phase, okay? 
until we break down, we're consolidating and setting up for a very large move to the upside, guys. Just keep that in mind. And you know, when we do zoom out as well, and you look at past cycles, you can see after the halving, we trade sideways for a significant amount of time. Last time, this was from basically May 11th, 2020, all the way to, say, about October 2020. That's many months, guys. That's five months or so of sideways price action. You know, we are in, it's going to be pretty interesting when I say this, we've been trading sideways for about four months, guys. Four months. I do think, in my opinion, that we could see a very eventful July. Let's just hope that the eventfulness is to the upside. Smash that like button if you want to see the eventfulness being to the upside for Bitcoin in the next month or so. But we're going to keep a very close eye on this, guys. Kronos, Crowcoin is struggling, that's for sure. It's making a new low on the Crow versus BTC chart. Don't like to see that. But that being said, if Bitcoin does hold up, we probably see some bottoming out here on Crowcoin, setting up for a new move to the upside. So that's some positive. Like I said, guys, please go follow me on Instagram at 333BlackSea. If I can reach 500 followers by, let's say, Sunday, I will give away $1,000. And also, if you are have an account on Blowfin, you sign up, you deposit, you get your little bonus as well. And you also follow me on Instagram. There will be a fantastic reward as well. So go check that out. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.